uh, did you meet with them? Did you visit anything like that? Yeah, I had um, my only phone meeting with them at the combine. And, you know, it was awesome, you know, being able to meet, you know, John Lynch, obviously, and the whole staff. Um, even Frank Gore was in there, you know, kind of someone that I grew up watching. And it was kind of like a, you know, starstruck moment there. But uh, definitely was a good meeting with them, you know, talking ball, talking about my life, things like that. And throughout the process, you know, talking to scouts um, post combine. So, yeah, those are my interactions with the 49ers leading up to the draft. Now, can you kind of just describe your style of a football player, what the Niners are getting? Yes, sir. I'm a downhill, you know, speed, tenacity, you know, ball player that, you know, just plays with a lot of fire. You know, um, I'm able to line up pretty much everywhere. Just, you know, watching the film, you know, I'm able to impact the game on all levels of the football. You know, I'm pretty sure the 49ers have a plan for me, but, you know, I really feel comfortable in a lot of spots being able to show that versatility um, during my time at Wake Forest. Malik, I see your shirt. What What is the definition? We can't see it. What's the definition of Mustafa? Yeah, so we got chosen. We got selected. We got appointed. We got preferred among many. And, you know, that was something that, you know, my mom kind of helped out with and my uncle, you know, kind of getting these T-shirts made, uh, you know, uh, just kind of, you know, just knowing that, the brand Mustafa, you know, has a, a lot of meanings to it. And, you know, just kind of what I symbolize, kind of how I've, you know, idolized myself. And, you know, that, that's kind of what I carry onto my name. How do you symbolize that? Uh, if it was up to me, I'll say king. But, you know, I feel like a lot of these, you know, definitions is just something that uh, just – shows a lot about my characteristics of, of me uh, as a person, not just a football player. What was your um, responsibility on, on third downs when you were in that hybrid role? Yeah, so we called that the Panther package. And, you know, it was, uh, you know, going into the game, you know, it was different tasks, you know, going into, you know, different teams. So it was either I had to spy the quarterback or, you know, sometimes I'll be, you know, with the defensive front running stunts. You know, they always had a key factor on me um, offense when, you know, identifying me. So there's a lot of spots I was able to put, even being at the linebacker depth and then even disguising where then I would have to burst to play single high coverage and even an extra nickel spot. So it was a lot of hats that I wore um, during that third down package. Just, you know, you know, a thing to my versatility and, you know, just being able to, like I said, impact on different levels of the football. So it was a game plan adjustment for sure, but it was something that I took pride in. With all your uh, responsibilities on defense, how much special teams work did you do at Wake Forest, and how are you eager to do that for the 49ers? Oh, yeah, I did a lot. You know, me, I was coming from Richmond, so when I transferred to Wake, you know, obviously I had to earn the respect of the coaches, and I knew I could do that on special teams. So, you know, I wasn't playing, you know, defensive reps at first, and I, you know, took pride in special teams uh, day in and day out, week in and week out. So, you know, running down on kickoff, running down on punt, during different stuff like that and just impacting the game when I can help my team, you know, pin the ball, you know, underneath the 10-yard line, you know, it's just all three levels of the football game that you can impact. And special teams was, you know, the number one goal for me. And going into the 49ers, I'm going to have to do the same thing. You know, I take pride in that. And I know the opportunity of just impacting the game is something that, you know, I'll take a lot of pride in. So uh, definitely don't shy away from special teams. Malik, the 49ers ask their safeties to be what they call erasers and, and prevent explosive plays. How do you think your skill set uh, can can translate in that regard? I feel like I fit the model perfectly. You know, something that I emphasized a lot when I was playing defense at Wake Forest and, you know, being able to be coached by good coaches that even helped my playing ability at the next level is something that's going to help me even become more of an eraser. And, you know, looking up at film like guys like uh, Hugh Fonga is something that you know, I looked at a lot during my time at Wake Forest and, you know, kind of picking up gems from him as well. I mean, he's one of the best erasers in the game of football. And I know that, you know, learning from him and then picking up, you know, where he left off and, you know, just learning from the, the veteran guys there, earning the respect of everybody will help me kind of enhance my uh, playing ability as well. Malik, in 2022, you really got after the quarterback. How much do you enjoy being part of those safety blitz packages? Oh, I enjoyed a lot, you know, just being able to, you know, be downhill fast, make the quarterback, you know, get off the read really fast and, you know, just react really fast. You know, something that kind of disgruntles the quarterback, but it's something that, you know, I enjoy doing a lot.
So uh, definitely don't shy away from blitzing. Do you pattern your game That's after Buda Baker? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I, I watch a lot of cuddles of Buda Baker, you know, someone that just – Goes downhill, no fear. You know, someone that's undersized like me as well. But, you know, it was hard over matter in one of those instances. So uh, definitely something that I carried on throughout my whole football playing career. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Rob.